Welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. I see you made it to the bus before me. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to take the camera, it's a GoPro, put it on my head and just show you some of the wiring I'm doing and how I'm feeding it around the back of the bus and up to the side. So let's uh, go take a look and see how that's going. And of course, right then I get a phone call. Okay, so I'm all done with the phone call. So basically for now, but I think it's going to ring again. So you can kind of see we've made some progress here. I got uh, my electrical box in and I got one wire coming from, from that side of the bus. Now, I, you know, I don't know if this video is going to be great because I got the, the GoPro on my head, so it might be a lot of moving around. I haven't done a GoPro video on my head in a long time, so I'll try not to be uh, jumpy. But you can see I got, um, you know, the wire run over here. I left extra every place I'm going to be putting an outlet in, and then I'll be fastening it to the wall. I just want to leave a little extra, so I had plenty to run up overhead here and uh, get it over to the box, cut it off, so then I can run the one up this side of the bus. And that's about what I'm getting ready to do now. And I did have it come in to the back here. This will be all closed in, so we won't see it. And again, there's plenty, so we can, we can get this all out of the way however I want to do it. The solar stuff will be on the outside here and then attach into this to uh, to get our 110 from eventually. But right now we just want to, you know, run some more wires. So I'm just going to take this one and hopefully feed it out through here. I want to get it down and, oh, I got a little bit of a problem. So I have to go underneath this board here. I got to get down to that channel and I forgot to drill a hole down there. So... That might be an issue. I might have to do something a little bit different. Um, I um, I don't really want to kind of half-ass it. So, although some people might think I have on some stuff, I'm trying not to. So I decided to just take the time. I pulled all the screws off this. I could pull it out away from the wall. So when I run the wire down in, I can go down and I drill the hole in this. I didn't want to come. I didn't want the wire coming across the window here, even though this is a five percent tint. And you probably wouldn't see the wire i didn't want the wire there so i'm straight out of the back of the box down through this rail and then i'll come over and come behind this and look at that there's the phone again all right so <laughs> it's the next day because after phone calls other stuff happened but anyways i think i was showing you that i ended up opening this up yeah and i ran this wire down i did show that in the last video so Basically what I'm going to do now is just, hopefully you can see this. I know it's a little dark in here, but um, what has to happen is I'm going to slowly run this wire up all the way to the front, and then I'll pull extra at each of the places that we're going to put power in. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit. Probably would be a lot easier with a second person because it seems like it's binding up right here. And uh, I can see this is already getting tangled. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this, get this wire in place, and then I'll get back to you in a couple minutes. So you can see, hopefully, I got it run down across here, and it's all the way to here, and I believe the last and final outlet will be here, power station. So we got enough wire, so we're going to set that there for now, and I have to determine now where they're going in between because I'm going to want to pull a little extra wire like I did on the other side over here to make sure I have enough. So when I put the outlets in, I got a little extra wire there. So that's going to take a little bit because we've had to change around our layout yet again. Not the layout, but what we're going to use for a bed. And if we're changing what we're using for a bed, we're going to be losing some storage underneath, which means we're going to build some storage over here. And we decided we're going to have a TV or something, entertainment on this particular wall. Which means now we want an outlet on this wall. And originally we did not. We were just going to have two here. One on each side of the head of the bed. Looks like we'll have the one up there. One in the kitchen area. One in the bathroom. And one in the bedroom. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't want to be wondering, oh, can I hook this in here? Can I plug this in here? And again, I'm redoing this. I don't like these plastic uh, covers. Um, but at each station, or most of them, I want that set up. So I have my choice of power. I can have 12 volt, like a cigarette lighter style, 110 of course, and two USBs. 
ports. That's going to be at several locations on the bus. Um, at least six. I have one in. I just bought five more. But basically, that's kind of what I'm doing. And slowly, you know, getting it in, uh, you know, piece by piece. I have to run 12 volt wiring all the way up there as well. Uh, in order to hook up those type of outlets. So we'll have 12 volt wiring running from back here all the way to the front as well, like we do over here. Um, you can see we have the 12 volt wire right here. That's gonna run each of those stations up along. So we just gotta do uh, basically the same thing on the other side of the bus. So that's where we're at at the moment as far as um, wiring. Yeah. That's it, you know. It's, uh, it's a process that just you have to slowly take your time. I gotta close this all in, but we're gonna be insulating differently. And again, this is gonna be the garage area, so I'm not really worried about this too much. Um, I'll leave this wall in a manner that I can open it up if I have to run more wires in there now that I know that could be an issue. Um, duh, that's it so far. Thanks for swinging by. I like the wild ride. Um, I am using 14.2. Uh, I would prefer 12.2. It's a stronger wire, heavier wire. But uh, for what we're going to be using this for, 14.2 is going to be fine. And I already had it. I don't know why I had 14.2. I can't remember what I bought it for. So I usually never buy 14.2. I might have got it. Somebody might have gave it to me. I'm not really sure. Um, but personally, I would rather use 12.2. Uh, uh, also, too, uh, incidentally, I have to... I probably ought to pull the extra for each of these outlets because then I have to run another one up and over to this bay here because there will be an AC here, an air conditioner right here eventually. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to put the solar panels on each side and then um, AC here in the middle. But we are continually building. We are getting things done. Um, I don't even know if I did a video on this closet here that I made, I, I just can't remember, you know, with everything that's going on. As you guys know, life is a wild ride, so we have to sometimes just work around that ride and and uh, take time to come on the bus here and putt around with a few things. We do have the piping and stuff now picked up for the roof rack system that we're, uh, we'll be finishing up. The good thing is next week we're going to have some time. Tracy and I both have some time off. Uh, we have a little bit of help watching uh, and working with my parents. But we'll have vacation time. So we're going to take that time to really spend a lot of time here on the bus and hopefully be able to crank stuff out. So anyways, uh, thanks for swinging by Life the Wild Rod. I'll put some links down in the description if there's anything I use. Maybe some wiring or something if you just want to go and look over to Amazon and see some wiring but again i would i personally would recommend 12.2 i'm using 14.2 because it's what i had uh, but i'm also using um you know lower amp breakers and stuff like that you don't want to use the higher breakers but also i will say i am not a licensed electrician you consult with a licensed electrician before you do anything like this i am not giving you advice this is for entertainment only anyway have a great day and remember life is a wild ride